All right, so there's a few ways we can go about creating the gauge graphics. Storyline shape tools will be familiar to most PowerPoint users. Now, even though there are still some things we can do in PowerPoint that we can't quite do in Storyline, it doesn't matter because everything we're going to need is already uh, set up in Storyline. So let's go up to the Insert tab, which is right here, and we want to look at our shapes. Now, when you look at these shapes, right, there's a lot of different styles of uh, gauge or speedometer type graphics we can create. For this type of example, we're going to look at things like the circles, the pies, the chords, and specifically the underused block arc. That's the one we're going to use. So select it, and when you get back to your slide, hold, hold and press the shift key. And when you do that and click and drag, it actually constrains that shape to its default uh, proportion. So um, just a good way to keep this as a true uh, semicircle. Okay, that's the starting point. Let's go ahead really quick and rename this in our timeline. So we're just going to double click the timeline, call it gauge background. Okay, now block arc type shape works just like any other shape. We can resize it, we can uh, format it, we can do pretty much anything we can do to any other type of graphic. We have one additional type of modification is when you see these yellow diamonds, it means you can actually change some properties on these graphics. So what I want to do with this one on the right is I'm just going to drag it inward. I want to fatten it up just a little bit. I'm going to make sure to keep this as straight as I can. It looks like I might have gotten a little bit off. I'm not going to spend too much time worrying about it, but I just want to fatten it up a little bit. And then you see the yellow diamond over here lets us adjust the actual uh, sector part. We'll deal with that a little bit later, but for now, just wanted to reduce that a little bit. A couple things. Let's go ahead and remove the uh, stroke from this. So the outline, just going to turn the outline off. Let's fill it with a white and give it just a, uh, a real subtle inset shadow. So from shape effects, shadow, inner shadow. Want to make a few changes here. So Back in the shadow, we want to just choose shadow options. Just want to lighten this up a little bit. It's a little bit strong right there. So maybe we can turn this transparency up quite a bit and bring the blur down. Again, not really like it's going to make a huge difference, but just wanted to uh, play with that a little bit. So pretty good for now. I'll go ahead and click close. And essentially, this is going to be the background of the graphic. We're actually going to uh, place another uh, arc above this to create the the actual colored sector part. And that's what we're going to do in the next movie.